Hey, this is Richard. This is Games Freezer. Today, my friends, I'm back. I'm back with another 10 minute taster. And we are over on the PC and we're playing a game called Let's School, which looks as though it's a school themed kind of theme hospital stroke uh, theme park type game. You know, you know the sort. So I think we're here to make a school better, so rebuilding it, doing all different things with it. Looks like a lovely little game, so let's um, see how we go with it. First time I've ever played it, and that's the point of the 10 minute taster. I get to uh, play a game I've never played before and uh, tell you what I think about it. Right, so we get to select a scene, so Sakura Valley, Peony Springs, Snow Cotton Town, that looks nice. Um, let's go, let's go with the standard one game speed grade up once a week normal grade up every two weeks grade up every four weeks so let's go every week once a week game difficulty normal easy difficult right we'll go with normal uh customization oh okay right so a quiet town at the foot of the hill right okay confirm so no doubt we're going to go into some kind of tutorial mode, I reckon, just as we can get a grips with all of the different um, mechanics. So let's have a look. Hey, long time no see. I'm the headmaster of your old school. By the time you read this, I will be retired and travelling the world. The school you loved is in a bad state. I tried my best, but my best wasn't good enough. Now, it's up to you. I'm asking you to take over the headmaster position. Please do what I only dreamt of doing. I've hidden a treasure somewhere on the school grounds. If you revive our school, the treasure is yours. Nice. Okay, headmaster information. Oh, I like this. Right, let's do a re-roll and a re-roll and a re-roll. Shall I? Let's be a, um, let's be a bloke. William Allen, no. Walter Smith, yes, the old Rangers manager. Let's go with him. Skin colour. Let's go look like a zombie. Uh, I'm going to be a tall zombie. <laughs> tall, large or skinny zombie. Let's be a, a large zombie. Right, okay, so where are we going with this? Bald head, yeah. Um, probably with a beard if I get that opportunity. What's this little haircut like? That's nice. Very cool. I like that. Right, we're going with a big quiff and we're going to go with some. Yeah, standout hair. Nice and red. What else we've got here? Clothing. Uh, we're going to have to go full on suit, aren't we? Oh, fantastic. Although, we could go with that. I'd probably get arrested if I was a headmaster wearing that. There we go. Right, so there we go. So, Watersmith. He's going to wear glasses. Because he's a teacher. Let's go with that. Red glasses. I can't go with glasses and a beard, unfortunately. So, we'll go with that. And we're going to go next. Right. School name. Well, it's got to be a re-roll. Flamingo Academy. Wolf School. Hamster School. And we're going with Hamster School. And we are going to try and find something that might well represent a hamster. So it's got to be this or that. Something naturey. Let's go with this. So emblem colour. Oh, I see that pops the oh and secondary colour. Oh that looks cool actually, I like that. Outline. Oh wow. Let's have a look, what have we got here? I think I like that or I like this. Um, let's go with that. Looks very uh cresty. Outline colour. Uh, so we've got the green for the, yeah that looks good, and then maybe like a, can we go over white, yeah, and then that back, is that the background colour? Oh that looks cool. Let's 
stay with that. Right, okay. This is good. Oh, look, there's a school bus. There I am. <laughs> I'm ready to go. I am ready to go. Watersmith reporting for duty at Hampster School. Day one. Fantastic. Have a little flyby. Oh, yeah, we can sort this out, can't we? Yeah, very nice. Plenty of potential. So do a upper. Do a upper up or a do a upper. Are you the new headmaster? I'm Miss Lynn, your assistant. Feel free to ask me for help if you encounter any difficulties. I might not have a lot of experience, but I'll do my best. Great stuff. We're off to a flyer. It's not easy being a headmaster. Oh, I haven't been told about your past work experience yet. Would you like to go through the tutorial? I need help. Try moving the camera to patrol the school. Confirm. Right, right mouse button. Use a scroll wheel to zoom in and out. Middle mouse. Hang on, let me just move. Can I? Oh yeah, I can move this down. Use the middle mouse button curate on the keyboard to rotate the camera angle. Middle mouse button. Oh, I see, yeah, of course. Middle mouse button. There's more than one floor to this building. Let me show you upstairs. Current floor one. Oh, I'll go upper floor. Oh, no, I'm never going to remember this somewhere. F to go lower. Okay. Looks like you're already getting the hang of adjusting perspectives. Great, let's see what we have to do to run a school. Education goals. Hello, Headmaster. Let me introduce you to our goal. Okay. We must first admit students from all the communities around us and satisfy their needs. Have the students attend classes so they gain knowledge points. Throughout the week, teach the students so they can pass the exam for their preferred course types at the end of the week. When the students pass the exams, the school gains contribution points, which can be used to further improve the school. Right, okay. You can increase the school level by renovating the facilities, admitting new students and more. Please gain a higher score up to the level of the school. Let's aim to be the best. Well, greetings headmaster. I'll be your building consultant, Brick Johnson. This building hasn't been hasn't seen regular use in ages. I'm sure you don't want your students to see this place looking like a dump. Let's tidy up first. Click the demolish button to remove facilities, furniture and other objects. Okay, what do you want me to demolish then? This. And this. Okay, I've never seen this place this clean and tidy before. We can now focus on our first day. Let's build a classroom. Students should have their own classes and seats. Click into the build panel build your school. This panel contains structures, facilities, furniture, environment and other construction tools. Okay, click the facility button. Click the classroom. Minimum size. Right, so can I put it anywhere? Build one classroom. Okay, so what else do I need to do? Satisfy all classroom area furniture and connectivity requirements. Place key furniture in the classroom. Place six desks in the classroom. Okay, so where can I build it? Do it? Does it have to be in the already contained area or can I build it out here? Or Alright, oh, it's gone green so yeah. So I'm defining an area as a classroom basically is what it's kind of saying. Right, okay. So we want a door, don't we? Uh, editing classroom user. Uh, so we want it to come off of this hallway. Although I think I've, I think I've got this extra corridor down here for some reason, but let's forget about it. So it's the recommended size. Uh, facilities are reachable with a door. We need a blackboard, which is here. Can stick that. Let's put that there. Thank you. 
Okay. We need a podium. Shabby podium. Shabby desk. Right, shabby podium. Uh, so I want to rotate, so... That's right, isn't it? Yeah. Lovely stuff. Right, and how many desks? We need at least one desk, I think. This is good. So then I need to just put these next to each other. Maybe three desks to begin with. Well, we can get a bit wider than that. Oh. Oh yeah, there we go. There we go. Okay, so teaching efficiency, hundred percent. Can I put more desks here? Can I just keep putting desks? Right, click. Uh, now click done button to exit the facility editor and save the changes made. Hello, I'm Edison Lau, the school's teaching consultant. Seems like you're ready to recruit some students. They are a school, school's foundation. Visit the local community to get started. Okay, so I'm going out to recruit students. That's interesting. This is where potential students of our community are gathered. Okay. There are a lot of children in this community who can start in our school soon. We can establish an, admini an admissions office here so that students may send in their applications. View local students. Okay. Establish an admi admissions office and recruit students in this location. Mudford admissions closed. Established admissions office. The student students in this community like to study, but their finances are tight. Being poor does not mean a lack of ambition. Helping them achieve their aspirations will get you more contribution points in the relevant field, but fund rewards will be rare. Meal pack up brings pack from pack food from home, so food services demand decrease. Oh, okay, forgetful. Bad memory, learn slower in humanities, right? Okay, aspirations, Marina Haven College of Marketing. Alright, oh, no points needed for final exam. Oh, I see. So if I can uh, help them achieve their aspiration, then I'll get knowledge, uh, I'll get those points, yeah? I get cash, money, runner. Can't hover over that. Cost of establishment. Okay, right, anyway. Let's do this. Uh, are you sure you want to admit students from here? Yes. 16 applications per week. Open admission. Right, okay. Open for admission. Confirm. Okay, click admit all. We've got Bill King, Dorothy Baker, Mark Hall. Ma Meng, who's that? Can't really see her name. Vivian Rivera, Brenda, someone or other. Rogers, is that? And Katie Adams. Right, admit all. All available students have been admitted. It's time to assign new students to a classroom and pick a homeroom teacher. Okay, we've got a nice classroom set up. So, assign all year one students into classes, assign a homeroom teacher. So, what do, I, what do you want me to do here? Select class members plus uh, and then select all. Okay. Homeroom teachers are needed to manage students, otherwise, the students will have disciplinary issues. Now, assign a teacher to the class at their home as their homeroom teacher. Uh, okay. Plus. So, Miss Lynn or myself. We're short on teachers right now, so how about you choose me to be the homeroom teacher? Yeah, why not? Okay. Have a drink, relax. Class preparations are now complete. Let's unpause and let the school activities continue. During daylight hours, students and teachers will come to start a new day of life at school. Click the button to start time. Oh, okay, I didn't realize we were even paused, but now I do realize that. Start a new game on survival mode. 
Miss Lynn, headmaster, headmaster, come to the school gates to welcome the new students. There we go. How are they arriving? Oh, careful, don't get run over. Ah! <laughs> oh, that was close. <laughs> These drivers around here don't understand <laughs> zebra crossings. Academic stream. Mudford might not be rich, but we will never lose to anyone when it comes to a first for knowledge. You are so good to us, Headmaster. Hamster school truly is the hope to change our lives. That is a heartfelt admission from this guy. I don't know what he's got coming out of his mouth, but is that a bit of grass or something? Right, what am I doing? Following one of the students? Or is that Miss Lynn? Students, it's too dark in here. Students are all ready to learn. Let's plan out their brand new life at school. Uh, okay, so what do I need to do? Schedule courses to ensure an estimated pass rate of seven students. Schedule one week of courses for any class. Zero to 20. Okay. Right, these are the estimated exam results for students in this class. You can make adjustments as needed. Oof. There are four different types of courses according to their aspirations. Different students will need to gain knowledge points in the corresponding courses. For example, students with athletic aspirations will need sports courses. While those who want to learn robotics will need more science courses. Make sure your course schedule matches the needs of the students in the class. Right. The estimated exam results are displayed on the right of the course schedule hover over each of the students to indicate to see the details for that student. When you create the course schedule, pay attention to the estimated exam results. Try to make sure all the students receive passing marks. Right. Oh. Can't knowledge points target. Oh, I see. Orange being the current, target being the green, yeah, 25 out of 50. Exams will be held every Friday. The students' grades will be determined by the knowledge points they have gained. Students who reach the weekly goal will win contribution points for the school. After every exam, students will go up by a year. After three exams, students will get, proceed to graduation. Students who pass their third exam could be accepted by their target institution. This will give the school more contribution points. Next, schedule courses to ensure students are able to achieve the passing mark. Select the course you wish to schedule, then drag to add it to the schedule. Oh, okay. So we're putting that in there, are we? Literature. So what am I scheduling for? So this guy here, for example, or this lady here, or this girl here, Katie Adams, right? She She what? Well, I'm hovering over her and I need to know what so What do those Okay, so she's got a book got a book so she needs one of those books she needs science as well okay right I see I see yeah so she needs a science one so I could go across here and have each day to cater for these well they all need books and science right so that's all oh, this guy this person oh right that isn't science then that's light bulb what's light bulb I know it is, yeah, it's all science, yeah. Mm. So they're all the same. They all want to do the same thing. So it's science and it's humanities and science, basically, from this lot. So we'll mix it up. Mix it up, mix it up. So that's Monday sorted, yeah? And then Tuesday we'll mix it up again. So we'll go into science. And then we'll have a bit more. Oh. Yeah. Science. Okay. And then next day we'll start with literature. And then science. So.
Right, okay, so we're going, what do I need now? Literature. And then science. And then maybe uh, a whole day of science. Here's one. Period two. Period three. And period four. Ooh. Algebra. Locked. There are seven monkeys on the tree, one monkey on the ground. How many monkeys are there? Average, because I don't understand why. Why is that locked? One week of courses for any class. Okay, so maybe I need to go. Oh, maybe it's. I can only do a certain amount of science in a week. Excellent work. With this weekly schedule, the students should pass their exams this week. Don't forget to set up courses after future classrooms are created. Right. Okie dokie. Now where are we going? Uh, where am I going? Schedule one week of courses for any class. 18 out of 20. Oh. So I need two more, which will be this and this. Literature locked courses found in the schedule are new courses that have not been unlocked through research. Okay. So can I come out of this now? Oh look, she's going in to teach. Good morning students. Oh, look, here I come. What am I up to? Water, what's going on? Can I put a door in there so as water can get in? Furniture. Environment. Buildings. Ah, oh, look, doors. Large wooden door. Can I put it in there? There you go. Right, are they le ready to learn? So what am I doing? Headmaster's desk, what's this? Move, edit, demolish, okay. So can I add something into my headmaster's desk maybe? Um, into my headmaster's room. Hollow out? Kate Adams, Headmaster, I have something to say. Someone is initiating some demands. Please click. The room is so dark that I can't see anything, Headmaster. Can you please install a window to address this issue? Accept. Uh, build windows to full cast lighting requirements. Right, okay. Um, maybe I should pause. And then we can go with windows. Where are windows? Doors and windows. Is that a window? Floor to ceiling. Nice. Look, let's get some... Oh no, it needs to come out here, doesn't it? Maybe on this end behind the teacher. So everyone can stare out the window while she's talking. Um, and then we'll have one on the side here. Has that done it? Yeah, I think it has. Yeah. Right, away we go. See, I don't know whether to repair this stuff while I'm... I could do, can I? Classroom management... Ah, oh, I see, so I could define an area. Oh, hello. They're dashing it out there into... Is that the play playtime? 9.35. Break time. I don't know if the headmaster is fierce. I hope not. I want to meet new friends. So maybe I should pause. Go in here. <laughs> and have a look at this abomination. I can make this wider, can't I? Look. Demolish. Can I just demolish one bit? Edit. Can I do it? Demolish. Are you sure you want to demolish and cancel? Can I um, edit and just get rid of that? Shrink facility zone. Okay. 
Ooh, what's that? Oh, I see. That's just taking the whole zone. Oh, okay. Well, I can expand, right? Yeah. That's better. Ooh. That's quite a nice design feature, actually. I could turn that into a cupboard. Right, um... Yeah, that looks quite cool. I like that. And then do this one the same as well. Unless I keep this as a cupboard. <laughs> that's it. Right, that's nice. It looks better, doesn't it? So can I repair that wall over there, maybe? So let's do us some... In buildings, I want a wall. How do I get walls? Teaching buildings, doors and windows, staircases, roofs, hollow out, pillar. How do I just put a wall in? I don't want to repair that wall, don't I? Cracked wall. Um, can I go to that? Can I then go? How do I then fix it? I want to fix the crack wall. Um, furniture. Don't want furniture. Decor, lights, hygiene, temperature, security. Facility, classroom. Does that mean I could make a classroom here? Management office, research room, women's room, men's room. Tea room. Everyone gets the water from here, resolve first. Let's try this then. So, if I was going to do something there. Hot water flask, cut rack. Uh, facility needs to be reachable. Okay, so we put a door in. Indoor. Flo ah, indoor wall. That looks good to me. That looks good to me. Nobody. Oh, should I put the door in first then? Where's my doors? Doors. One of these. Doublers. Ah, oh, it's below recommended size. So I could expand. Oh. Right, okay. If I brought that out, would it get rid of that door? Yeah, it would, yeah. So, put the door back in. Doble. Hot water flask. Don't know what that is. Exclusive. Cut rack. Oh, I see. Kettle. Hot water station. Put that in there. Z that. Okay, can I not clear that rubbish out? No, just put it there then. There we go. Right, so we need a hot water flask. Is that the same thing? It is. Then we need a cup rack. Cup rack. This cup rack, there it is. Okay. But I still can't fix that wall, can I? Which is odd. Okay, so they've got drinking water and they can get to it. Let's see. Uh, there we go. Do you think I'll probably have to demolish things before I... Uh, Repair it, because look at this. Why is there a hole in that wall and I can't repair it? There's a hole in my wall. It's the game, freezer. Yeah, la, 
This the throwback, this the game freezer. You know we doing it big from LA to Ibiza. It's worldwide, this the movement. Open up the freezer, you know what we gon' find. Nothing but them dimes, only the coolest games, the ones that go and shine. So put your mind in it, cause we bout to be spinning in a virtual world where we always keep winning. So sorry to the channel, we get witty. Grab a handle, cause we hold it down all day on Games Freezer. Freezer.